kids spend the night with my parents. All of them. All five of the kids spend the night with my parents. <laughs> Monday morning we have not vlogged in a couple days um, I have a ton of editing I need to do of the vlogs that we have done yesterday was Con's birthday so that was a great day it was just a pretty chill relaxed day at home which is usually what we do for his birthday my birthday we usually do a ton of like housework and yard work and then for his birthday we just kind of relax at home and have a good yummy dinner um, we did that. We had some chicken pizziola pasta last night. It was so good. And then the kids spend the night with my parents. All of them. All five of the kids spend the night with my parents. Can you believe it? It was amazing. We actually, I was actually able to sleep in my bed without a child on top of me. That hasn't happened in so long. So, um, it was a great night. And then Clint and I did a little just him and me date to go get ice cream for dessert. It was a little crazy of a weekend, but we ended it on a really nice, relaxed note. And then this morning, I I have a ton of cleaning to do today, starting here in the kitchen because it's the one that stresses me out the most. I'm gonna get it all cleaned up and hopefully get the living room and dining room cleaned up before the kids come back too, so I can really focus on it and hit it hard. So that's what I'm doing. I hope you guys are having a great day so far. I hope you had an amazing weekend and um yeah. I got it. I got to get to work. I got to get to it. So Just listen for a second. Can you hear that? I'm not sure if you can. It's kind of in the background in the distant background. But if you can, do you know what that means? The kids are home. Already, they got home bright and early. Um, I was able to get the dishes done in the kitchen partially clean before they got home. That's all I was able to get done because they came home quick. I should have filmed this, I didn't. I am making some crusty ditch oven bread, hopefully for dinner tonight if it rises enough. I'm not sure if I have enough time. Usually I do it, usually I do it the night before. So. I should have done this last night, so that way it was ready for tonight for dinner. Um, it's a really easy, simple, quick recipe. It is three cups of flour, and I am using kamut, kamut flour. Uh, so it's a little drier, it's a little thirstier than your regular all-purpose flour. So if you're using regular all-purpose flour, you want three cups of flour, um, half a teaspoon of yeast, one teaspoon of salt, and one and a half cups of warm water. And then you just mix it together and you cover it up and you leave it on your counter in a warm area for anywhere between eight and 24 hours. I, like I said, am using the Kamut flour, which is a little more thirsty. So I actually used a full two cups of water with this and then everything else was the same. So I have it covered, it's resting, and we're gonna get it a good nine hours of it rising, and then we'll check it. And like I said, I'm not sure, cause this is the first time I've done it in the morning with the Kamut flour. Usually I do it the night before with the Kamut cause it takes a little bit longer to rise than regular all-purpose flour. Now if I was doing regular all-purpose flour this morning, it would be ready for dinner tonight. So, fingers crossed, it works with the commit. Can you say hi? Can you say hi? Hey, can you say hi? Oh, what are you watching? You watching Onward? Oh, that's two cookies in your mouth. No, mm-mm. 
So this morning has been a bit crazy. The kids came home and we tried to get some cleaning done, but then Lorelai's ear was hurting her really bad. And I'm pretty sure she has an ear infection just from all the swimming and water that's gotten in it. Um, so I tried taking her to the doctor, but the doctor's not seeing ear infection patients that they're sending those type of people to the walk-in clinic. So we tried to go to the walk-in clinic, but it was over a two hour wait. So we ended up leaving and uh, I stopped and got the kids McDonald's, which was not in the plan, but. And, 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 and we did go to, wait, so that was not in the plan did not plan to get them mcdonald's or eat out at all this week for food but she she's in a little bit of pain she's pretty sore she's complaining of it a lot and she doesn't usually complain about aches and bruises and owies so um so we did that just to try to be special and make it through until tomorrow um, the one with i don't have in at home i know i told you that Callie not home Addie not home we're gonna try to go tomorrow morning first thing in the morning try to get there right when they open at eight but that'll be ugh, wait up we'll have to wake up real early for that because it's like a 20 minute drive but i don't know anyways that's our lunch update mcdonald's lunch yay tripod while I was putting this together so I couldn't show you how I was making it but we are having beef stroganoff tonight and really it's deer stroganoff because it's ground deer meat and not beef um but whatever it's the same right so for the sauce mixture there is onion powder garlic powder paprika Worcestershire sauce, a can of cream of mushroom soup, Worcestershire. And, and then some sour cream or non-fat plain Greek yogurt. I use Greek yogurt today. Um, sometimes I use sour cream, sometimes I, sometimes I use the Greek yogurt like tonight. Sometimes I use cream cheese even to make it a little creamy cheesy. Uh, it's really whatever. And then I also threw in a spoonful of Aju mix, or you could just use a, a brown gravy packet, an Aju packet, um, a beef base flavor, just something that gives it a little more depth of flavor. And we have, you saw me pull together the crusty Dutch oven bread that I'm making. I just pulled it together. I didn't knead it too much, but I wanted to get it into a nice ball, round ball shape um, to go into the Dutch oven. The oven is preheating with the Dutch oven in it at 450 and I have my timer set. Um, so because it needs to heat the Dutch oven itself for 30 minutes, water's going for the noodles for the beef stroganoff. I'm warming up some of our leftover corn on the cob 
in the oven. And then I'm also, we have some leftover green beans that I'm going to warm up and use up as well. And those are gonna be our veggies. Okay, so it's been 30 minutes. Now normally after this stage, you would take the lid off and put it back in the oven for an additional 15 minutes to really golden and crust up the crust, crunch up the crust. But our family doesn't like it super hard and crunchy. So today I am stopping here and I am gonna cut it open and see if we like it at just the 30 minutes fingers crossed you should really you should let it cool for at least 20 to 30 minutes normally before cutting into it so it's the outside is cool to the touch but dinner's ready so I'm gonna start cutting it now and it's gonna be super hot and we're okay with that for tonight <laughs> plates and plastic ports that my mom got us for Emmett's birthday, somebody's birthday, I don't remember. Because our dishwasher's broken and it just makes my life easier right now. Good night, we are What'd you say? Corn noodles? They're not corn noodles. Beef! Beef Romna with green bean dish, noodles and what? Oh yeah, I love beef stroganoff. Tonight, Tonight we're having beef stroganoff, green beans, and bread with butter. Damn <laughs> <laughs> it. Tonight we're having Beef juggernaut with green beans and bread and butter, and they those the grown-ups are having corn with theirs too. Mmm. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Mosca's not eating anything as no. per usual. I eat. <laughs> I eat when I eat. That one over there his devoured his bread. Already. Mm. Can you some of that? <laughs> Beef stroganoff, leftover green beans, leftover corn on the cob for daddy and I, and some crusty Dutch oven bread that I cut too soon, but that's okay. It's still delicious. <sighs> so, Dinner was yummy. Did you like it? Yeah, it was pretty good. Daddy did the dishes for me. He cleaned up and now he is working on the computer editing and some pictures. And we, we didn't want to go today to the doctor's island tomorrow. Yeah, we're gonna wake up early and go to, tomorrow to the doctor because it was like a two and a half hour, two hour, two and a half hour wait. Something like that at the walk-in clinic. Yeah, so. and then one time to go to that Texas. It was way too long. So, uh, Sissy and I are hanging out. We're having some mommy sissy time on the couch. I am watching a Netflix show and she is watching YouTube. Um, so our 
evening is done. Hobby family TV. Um, so yeah, that's it. We're gonna wrap up today. What do you tell them? Thanks for watching. Good night. Thanks for watching and good night. See you.